The first quarter of our game on the road against Washington, I get beat deep by this speedy receiver. I didn't think he was this fast. He makes a huge game, put his team in the red zone, but I got back and made a tackle. And right before the second quarter, I came across the field in this read option. I laid this running back out. And right here on third down, I almost get this pick, but I get back and I make a good tackle to keep them from getting the first down. Then towards the end of the second quarter, I do sniff out the screen a little late. But I get back and I absolutely rock this running back. Then at the end of the second quarter, I get beat deep again, trying to bait these routes. So we had a huge lead so I had to at least try to get me something going. And right here at the beginning of the third quarter, I come back down and I make a hit on this huge tight end. And then right here in a clutch third down situation, this receiver drops an easy ball. He heard me coming downhill and he just dropped the ball. And later in that drive on third and 13, this had to be the flukiest touchdown I've ever seen in my life. The receiver got tackled. He laid on top of my teammate and watched him make this a 21 to 28 game. Even though I got beat in coverage a few times this game, I do make up for it and I get this clutch pick in the end zone. My fourth pick on the season. Then right here on second down, I leave from my zone. I come down and help my teammates because this quarterback was running through everybody. And then right here before the fourth quarter, I come through and I meet this running back in the hole and I completely flatline him with his hit. Early in the fourth quarter, I try to bait up this little route coming across the middle of the field. But the quarterback throws a perfect ball, but I do get back and I make a good tackle on the receiver. Then in a clutch third down situation, me and my teammates, we get down and we stop this receiver from getting the first down. Right here in a second and goal situation, I come from the back of the end zone and I absolutely decimate this receiver. Third and goal, me and my boy Seven come off the edge and we catch this running back right before he slips into the end zone. First and 10 early in the fourth quarter, this running back broke a tackle in the backfield. I come from my side of the field. I lay him out to keep him from scoring the touchdown. Then late in the fourth quarter in a clutch third and two situation, my teammates get to stop on this running back to force the three and out. Then in a clutch fourth and five situation, my teammates get in the backfield and they get a great sack on this quarterback. Washington is marching down the field late in the fourth quarter. First and 10 situation on the screenplay. I'm playing off my zone, but then my teammate gets a huge hit, causes the forced fumble. I try to get a scoop and score, but my teammate ended up recovering the ball but we do cause the turnover and then with less than a minute left in the fourth quarter only down seven washington is trying to march their way down the field again and his quarterback throws a dot to his receiver and he steps out of bounds to stop the clock and when you need a big play you need somebody to come through and make it happen you call on one i turn my back to bait this quarterback into throwing this ball i get a diving one-handed game-winning interception to close out this game and i end up getting player of the game with this crazy diving one-handed pick i even got awarded player of the game with eight tackles one for loss and two picks and we get a 28 to 21 win over our rival Washington. And I lead this game with eight tackles, one for loss, and two picks. To kick off our game against Washington State, I get beat deep on the worst route I've ever seen. I almost got back and got the pick, but the receiver made a nice toe tapping catch. Third and goal down here in the red zone, we get a huge stop on the running back, forcing the fourth down. But the very next play on fourth and goal, Washington State's quarterback runs in and scores the first touchdown of the game. And right here on third and 11, I come down and I make a good tackle and keep this receiver from getting the first down. I overrun this pick. Teammate gets the tackle, calls the fourth fumble i over dive the ball my other teammate comes over scoops the ball and runs it in for a touchdown then early in the second quarter on first down i bait up this route i get back and get my fifth pick of the season and my first pick six of the season up 28 to 7 midway through the second quarter on third and 20 my boy noah sewell come across and he gets this clean pick and gives offense great field position and in third and one on the next drive my teammate gets another pick on the opposite side of the field and gives our offense another chance to go in and score then towards the end of the second quarter up 42 to 7 washington state marked Marches down the field and their quarterback throws a dot and they score their second touchdown of the game. And then early in the third quarter, third and one situation, I try to bait up this route. This receiver secures the first down, but I get back and I make a pretty good tackle. Then a few plays later, I get beat deep again by this receiver, but I get back and I make a good tackle and keep this play from going into the end zone. Then on second and 10, I get absolutely routed by this receiver and he secures the first down. Then in a first and goal situation, this quarterback finesses his way into the end zone and they score touchdown number three of the game. And then first and 10 on the next possession, my teammate number 15 gets his second pick of the game and then right here late in the third quarter second and 10 i get back after baiting this route and i drop what would have been my second one-handed pick early in the fourth quarter with a 68 to 24 lead my boy 15 comes and get his third pick of the game then in a first and goal situation washington state's quarterback has all day to get rid of this ball he dots his receiver in the back of the end zone we get a 75 to 31 win here at home against washington state and we remain undefeated i ended this game with five tackles in my first pick six of my college career to kick off our home game against UCLA, their quarterback opens up and throws a dot in the end zone, and they score the first touchdown of the game. Early in the second quarter, I come down from my zone, and I get a big, nasty hit on this quarterback. Then right here in this third and seventh situation, my teammates get a nice sack to force the fourth down. And then towards the end of the second quarter, this quarterback thought about trying me, but he ended up just lobbing it out of bounds. I think he knew what was best for him. Early in the third, UCLA's running back lowers his shoulder and rolls into the end zone. And then right here on third and seven, this receiver tried to make the most acrobatic catch in football history, and I almost end up getting 
this pick as well, but it just turns into an incompletion. And then right here on fourth and one, they decided to try me after I slightly baited this route up. But as soon as this receiver got his hands on the ball, I tackle him out of the air and it turns into an incompletion. And then right here on first and 10, I teach this quarterback a lesson and I lower my shoulder straight into his chest and I lay him out. And then right here on 39, this quarterback puts the ball exactly where it needs to be out of my reach and they get a huge gain. And then right here on first and goal, this receiver runs a route to the back of the end zone. I should have been there, but they end up getting this touchdown, taking a 24 to 10 lead. Then early in the fourth quarter, first and 10, I meet this running back in the hole and I drop my shoulder and I lay him out. Then here in a third and eight situation, my defensive front gets in the backfield and they get the sack, making it fourth and 14. And then right here in third and two, my teammate takes down a running back and we force another fourth down situation. And then here on second and 12, I shed this block and I get back and I make a good tackle on this running back. Then on third and 10, my boy seven was all over this route. He gets down and immediately gets to tackle. But offense decided to show up a little too late this game. We lose our first game of the season, 24 to 17 here at home against UCLA. I didn't really make any big plays and I only lead this game with seven tackles. On the road against Stanford, this running back bust out a crazy run. And honestly, if I didn't make contact with him, he probably would have took this to the crib. But they decided to go for it on fourth and 20 and we end up getting a crazy sack, giving our offense pretty good field position. But right here on first and 10, I tried to bait up this route. Quarterback throws the ball at the perfect time and puts it in the perfect spot. Then right here on second and eight, I take a weird little angle towards the running back, but I come through and I get a good tackle. And right here on third and eight, the quarterback decided to take off. He get a huge game, but I come from my side of the field and I get a pretty good tackle on him. And then here on first and 10, I get absolutely routed up by this receiver and he goes in to score their first touchdown of the game. And then here on third and 10, I get absolutely disrespected by this running back, but my teammates stop him just short of the first down. And then here on third and two, my teammates get in the backfield and they make a good stop on this quarterback, forcing the fourth down situation. And then here on third down, my teammate gets in the backfield and makes a great tackle. And then here on a clutch third and one situation, I give up another big pass play and Stanford is back in the red zone. And then on second and eight, my teammate slows up this running back and I come across the field and I make a pretty good tackle for a loss. And then here on third and 11, I come from my zone and I absolutely rock this receiver. And then here in first and goal, 48 seconds left in the game, Stanford hands it off to their fullback and they tie the game up 17-17. And then here on the last play of regulation, this quarterback heaves this ball downfield. He gets tipped like two or three times, but it ends up being an incompletion and we go into overtime against Stanford. And then here on second and 13, if my teammate wasn't here to back me up, this would have probably ended bad. But I get completely mushed in the face. But like I always say, when you need a big play, you call on one. And on fourth and goal, this quarterback tries to throw a dot to the back of the end zone. But I get back and I make another toe tapping pick to win the game. After my clutch pick in the end zone, we get a 24 to 17 win over Stanford on the road. And we improve our record to eight and one. I end up leaving this game with six tackles and a very clutch pick. At home against Utah, they kick off the game with a pretty big run for their running back. I come from my side of the field and I make a pretty big tackle to stop this already big run. And then right here on this quick little screen, play. I wasn't pressing, so I couldn't get here for the pick, but I rushed down and I stopped the play before it turned into anything big. And then right here on first down, I come from my side of the field. I meet this running back in the middle and I get a pretty good tackle. And then on second and five, I come across the field and I cause a forced fumble, but the ball rolls out of bounds. And then here on first and 10, I teach this quarterback a lesson. He keeps the ball on the read option. I come downhill and I lay him out. And then here on second and two, I had an easy pick, but the receiver makes the smart decision and runs back to the ball and I get down and I just get the tackle. And then right here on 39, I call myself getting down to make this pick, but this receiver runs straight into my zone and the quarterback dots him up and he turns this into a huge play and then right here on second and three i meet this running back in the hole i get a pretty good tackle but he falls forward for the first down and right here on second and ten i get back down and i make a pretty good tackle on this running back before he turned this into a big play and then here on third and ten i try to bait this route up this quarterback throws a perfect ball and somehow this receiver get one foot in and then here on first and ten utah's quarterback throws a pick to the other side of the field and with a 23 nothing lead with less than two minutes left this game is pretty much over and we get a win here at home against utah 23 to nothing and we improve our record to nine and one it was a pretty uneventful game for me, but I leave out of here today with seven tackles and a forced fumble. On the road against Arizona, I'm already looking to bait up this route, and that's exactly what I do. My teammate comes over and he snatches the pick away. He runs out of bounds, but he gives offense the perfect field position to go down the score. We starting off this game high already. And then here on second and two, I come off the block and I steal my teammates tackle, but they still do secure the first down. And here on first and 10, bro, I try to bait up this route and I baited it up a little too much and this quarterback puts it right over my head and Arizona takes a 7-0 lead early in the first quarter. But here on third and six towards the end of the first quarter, I continue to try to bait up this quarterback and I get back at the perfect time and I get my first pick of the game with this beautiful over the shoulder catch. Me and my teammates were hyped, man. We starting off this game crazy. And then a few possessions later on second and 10, I sit down on this comeback route. I bait it up to perfection. I get back and I get my second pick of the game, my second pick in the first quarter. And I try to run this in for six, but I'm so gassed. I can't even sprint to the end zone and I end up getting tackled. But we set the offense up in the red zone for easy score. Here on 31, I see the running back take the handoff. I come flying down here. I drop my shoulder.
shoulder and I lay him out and I stand over him like it's nothing. I'm feeling good after that big hit. And then here on first and 10, up 28 to seven early in the second quarter, my teammate slips up in coverage, but I get back and I secure the tackle for him. And then here on first and 10, at the break of my teammate's tackle, I come flying down the sideline. I drop my shoulder and I put this receiver on his back. And then here on first and goal early in the second quarter, the same receiver gets another reception and I come across and I secure another good tackle. But down here in third and goal, Arizona's running back walks in for their second touchdown of the game, making the score 28 to 14. And then here on the back end of the second quarter, I don't know what kind of miscommunication was going on back here, but my boy Seven gives up another touchdown right before the half, making this a 21 to 28 game. And then early in the third quarter on first and 10, I try my best to bait this route, but the quarterback just put this ball in the perfect position and this receiver catches this ball for a first down. And then here on third and eight, I get a pretty decent hit on this receiver, but he does a good job spinning off my body. He rolls forward for the first down. And then here on third and goal, I sniff out the screen early. I get back down and my teammate make a pretty good hit to shut this down and make it fourth and goal. And then here on third and five, I'm trailing this receiver across the field, leaving my zone. But I get over here just a little too late and they secure another first down. But here on second and 10, early in the fourth quarter with a 38 to 31 game, I bait this route up to the sideline to perfection. And I get a beautiful toe tap and catch. At this point, they might as well call me Tony Toe Tap. Almost all of my picks have been toe tap. I had the entire team hype. And on first and 10, this quarterback sneaks out of the backfield and he takes this for a huge game, but I end up making a tackle from behind. And on second down, I come from my side of the field and me and my teammates make sure we don't let this running back secure this first down and we get a pretty good tackle. And then here on first and 10, late in the fourth quarter, 38 to 31, this huge tight end makes a great catch through contact, but I end up securing the tackle before he can take it for a big play. But on second and one, with under two minutes to go in the game, this quarterback throws a pretty decent ball in the traffic. But with my speed, my hands, and my eyes, I get over and I make this incredible pick to seal up the game. And I set a new school record for interceptions in the game. And we get a win here on the road in Arizona, 38 to 31. And I have the best game of my entire career with 11 tackles and four interceptions.